Hey, what is up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and I've got another Logic Pro 11 tutorial here for you today. In this video, I'm gonna show you a trick I pretty much just discovered. I actually got the idea from a few people who had commented on some of my stem splitter videos. And this trick allows you to very cleanly remove background noise from audio or video recordings with audio. Now, in a previous video a little while back, I did a video on the AU sound isolation plugin that's included with Mac OS. It's just like a, a default Apple Mac OS plugin. That plugin was really helpful for removing background noise, but if you cranked up the the mix blend to 100 percent or even close to that it sounds a little bit off it sounds a little bit like it's underwater and and this happens a lot with noise removal plugins i found a way to do this even more cleanly using stem splitter along with the au sound isolation plugin so that's what i'm going to show you in this video now this is great when you've made uh, maybe a video recording with your phone or maybe you just have a noisy recording with a bunch of ac in the background or maybe you've got some hum or maybe some bleed from some other instruments maybe you're working with some live recordings so there's a lot of different applications for this and again the the best thing about this is it doesn't require any third-party plugins so for this video i made a quick video on my iphone just on my back porch standing right in front of a big fan and i'll play that video for you right now hey what's up everyone this is music tech help guy and i'm on my back porch with my phone no extra uh microphone this time and i also have a fan a giant fan running right in front of me and here's what that same video and audio sounds like with the noise reduction applied Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy and I'm on my back porch with my phone, no extra uh, microphone this time. And I also have a fan, a giant fan running right in front of me. Yeah, so it's night and day. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. It's super quick and uh, super easy to do. But first I need to quickly tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Boombox. Boombox is the ultimate file storage and collaboration platform for musicians, bands, producers, and mixing engineers. Boombox is a suite of collaboration tools made by music makers for music makers. You can upload multi-tracks, stems, full mixes, and even full DAW sessions, your lyrics or your chord charts. You can upload pretty much any type of file to your Boombox projects. You can upload with the Boombox web app or use the Boombox sync app for Mac OS to upload directly from your desktop. You can then invite collaborators to your project who can leave timestamped feedback on your tracks. And Boombox is not just for storage either. You can create custom shareable playlists. You can manage royalty splits along with many other collaborative tools. Head over to boombox.io today and get four gigabytes of free storage or upgrade to one of their paid plans to get the storage you need. Okay, so I've got that video I just showed you earlier with all of the noise in it. Let's go ahead and drop this into a new Logic project. I'm going to open the movie and extract the audio track. I'll go ahead and use 30 frames, and here it is. The video is not really uh, as important as the audio here, so let's just give this one more listen so you can hear all of that noise uh, from the fan in there. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and I'm on my back porch with my phone, no extra uh, microphone this time. And I also have a fan, a giant fan, running right in front of me. So let's take this audio, let's extract this audio from the video and let's use Stem Splitter along with the AU sound isolation plugin to clean up the audio and get rid of some of the background noise. So we're dealing with two things here. We're dealing with the background noise from the fan, but we're also dealing with reverb from the back porch. It's all stone and tile. So there's a lot of reflections going on in that space. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna use Stem Splitter. Right click, go down to Processing, and select Stem Splitter. Just keep in mind that Stem Splitter only works with Logic Pro 11. It's a brand new feature, and you also have to have Apple Silicon to make it work. Otherwise, the feature is not there. So I'll use Stem Splitter. I'm gonna split the vocals, but then I'm going to turn off drums and bass because there's obviously no drums and bass here, and I'll leave other on. The other is going to be the background noise. So I'll click Split, 
And with the magic of Apple Silicon, you can see I've got my two stems as they are. And before we even listen to the actual audio of my voice, let's listen to the background noise. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the gain plugin on here and pull this up by a bit, just so you guys can hear it on your end. Yeah, so you can hear in the other track, it's all just noise. There's no usable material there. So let's go ahead and just delete that track. Let's pull my vo uh, voice track out of the track stack, and let's listen to just the cleaned up uh, version of my voice. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and I'm on my back porch with my phone, no extra uh, microphone this time, and I also have a fan, a giant fan, running right in front of me. So let's take this audio, let's extract this audio from... So that's pretty good. It's gotten uh, most of the noise out of the signal, but there's still a lot of reverb in there. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to add the AU Sound Isolation plugin on here. Now to find the AU Sound Isolation plugin, you're gonna go to your audio effects, go down to audio units, and then go to Apple. And then at the bottom of that list of plugins, you'll see the AU Sound Isolation plugin. This is just a, I think it's a Mac OS system plugin. It might be the same sound isolation they use for like FaceTime and stuff. Now you never really wanna use this at 100%. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy and because you can tell there's some like artifacts in there. It sounds like it's underwater. So usually what I do is I set this somewhere between like 50, 60, 70, maybe 80%, and you'll still get a little bit of the reverb in the background, and you're still gonna hear a little bit of the noise, but it's just exponentially better than it was before. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and I'm on my back porch with my phone, no extra uh, microphone this time, and I also have a fan, a giant fan, running right in front of me. So let's take this audio, let's extract this audio from the video, and let's use Stem Splitter along with the AU Sound Isolation plugin to clean up the audio and get rid of some of the background noise. And then just as a comparison, so you can uh, hear what the original sounded like. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy. Fan running right in front of me. So let's go and... So we basically have unusable audio and then we've made it usable. So this is a great way to clean up your audio recordings and clean up your video recordings, even if you don't have any third-party noise reduction or noise removal software. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.